Hey everyone, so here's a quick update on stereo to depth and batch processing image sequences. Um, it's not something I'd necessarily recommend doing, but you can do it in the latest version of Pseudoscience Stereo to Depth version 1.3. So you can see if I drag this stereo equal rectangular image onto stereo to depth, it works as it has before. If I save depth, it exports the depth map here. And if I save sixth off, it does the same. So there we have the sixth off image and the depth map. However, I have this folder here of these um, time lapse images. This is from a Canda Obsidian. This is uh, some of the sample footage posted on their website. Um, and it's just this uh, time lapse of the street in China. You can see if I open up the file info, it is uh, an 8K image. And I've got 249 frames here. I just took the video from their website and exported the frames into an image sequence. And you can see if I drag all of them onto stereo to depth, it now opens. And in the console over here, it actually says we're batch processing 249 images. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video a little bit just so we can save some time. But now we can adjust the settings, up the resolution, lower the block size, up the resolution a little more. Okay, so now you can see if I click on save six off, It's saving this folder here where the original images are located, and then it created a new folder called Batch. If I open that up, you'll see there's our first image, and it's a sixth off image with depth on bottom, color on top. And there's our second image, and you can see they're just popping up. As I said before, it's extremely slow. This is not optimized in any way. It just uh, does them one after the other, so not very efficient. I don't necessarily recommend doing this for, you know, long videos, but um, it is possible now. We'll go ahead and just sort of skip to the end here, and you can see it took about a half hour, and we're now at 100%. And um, we've got 249 images. And if I open them up and we take a look at the file info, you can see it is an 8K image. We're going to go ahead and skip ahead now, so we're like a cooking show. I've actually finished this. I brought them back into an MP4 and actually resized it to 2048 by 2048, so it'll play in Pseudoscience 6 off no problem. So let's go ahead and open Pseudoscience 6 off viewer, and um, I'll load up the video here. And there it is. So that's it for this video. I'm just going to sort of play around with the sixth off image now. So um, the video is pretty much over, but you can keep watching if you want to just sort of see what I'm able to do here. So we're going to go into point cloud mode. I think that looks a little better for this sort of thing. So we've reached the end of the video there, and I can just kind of look around on the still frame now. Okay, so I'll go ahead and start playing it again. It's obviously not the cleanest depth map. I think the Canda Obsidian software probably does a little bit better job. Um, this algorithm doesn't take into consideration temporal stuff or anything. It's really just, you know, disparity filter on an image by image basis. So here I've just paused the image for a second so I can kind of move around individual frames and kind of see what each time-lapse image looks like in six stuff. I think that's kind of cool. So I can actually go ahead and turn on the depth map mode and we can take a look at the depth map. That's pretty cool. You can see if I look down here, it's uh, pretty messy on the ground, probably pretty easy to fix, you know, just in After Effects or even Final Cut Pro. 
So you could, you know, manually clean this up a bit and make it a lot better. Okay, so we'll go back into color mode now. So yeah, you know, obviously not the best depth map, and it takes a long time. It's not. It's very slow. It's not an efficient workflow for video, but it is possible, and the software is out there. I've got links below, or just head over to reddit.com slash r slash six stuff and take a look in the sidebar, and you can find the latest version. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.